Uh, well, hello everyone. I am Coda, and I'm the owner of Val's Deer Park. And yes, as you guys can hear, I have bought myself a microphone for my camera. So let's do a audio tour, I guess, this time, and not something sloppy with some text, which isn't something wrong with at all, honestly. But yeah, I thought today, let's instead of doing like a proper update, let's just talk about the zoo and why things are this way. Because I've never been able to actually explain it. So let's start with our seal exhibit and the puffins. So this exhibit is still gonna get an upgrade. Like I want these gone. And I want to get some kind of wood or probably something like natural rocks in instead. Um, maybe even raise the water level a little bit and make some kind of slope or some kind of like rocky area so the puffins feel more at home because this this is just a flamingo paddock and in the ultimate scenario these two four will move out somewhere else and we'll put in new flamingos uh, which kind doesn't really matter um, now we have a very over large palace cat exhibit um, which will be used for some other species hopefully in the future probably in the ways of red pandas, fishing cat, ocelot, something like that uh, along those lines, anyway. Um, we got a lovely restaurant cafe thing. And I'm probably one of my favorite exhibits, not even because it's pretty, but because some of my favorite zoo animals are in here, which are my sheeps. I love my sheep. I really do. I just love the sheephood. There are nine sheeps total, or sheep, because that's a plural one, and some chickens, which are doing fine. Um, and we got one of the exhibits that will get an upgrade as well, um, mainly in size and probably an extension in here because, as you can see, yaks, camels, sides, uh, that's gonna need some upgrade. And it does the job for now, like we put that outside um, when it's evening. But uh, yeah, that's getting an upgrade. Um, the skunk exhibit is probably also going to be getting an upgrade as we've had several times that they've escaped um, because skunks can still climb so um, we're going to upgrade this like very soon actually. Um, the red exhibit still one of my favorite slash least favorite things. I don't know, I still don't really have settled on whether I like it or not. <laughs> um, then we got all two harpy eagles in here temporarily of course like they can barely even spread their wings but they at least can these three right here barely um uh, yeah we have plans on extending it like it does the job for now but it, it won't do it for any longer and then we got Rico or Hornbill who I adore um hasn't had any much screen time so here you go, screen time. Alright, then we got rabbits. Of which we have a ton. But yeah. Uh, we got a couple color variations actually. Like, this is not a natural variation, this is a domesticated variation. Whilst these are natural variations. So that's a little cool thing. And we got some new exhibits over here, of which this one is uh, Cockerell Safaka Island. We currently have six of them. Um, I'm, I'm not really keen on the climbing structure. It's it's basic. It was cheap, um, but it's it, it's something like it's really just nothing. Like there's barely any height to it, and then there's just this very sloppy indoor thing. Um, but yeah. And then on to the other exhibit, which is a Ibex exhibit, temporary. Um, because as we also recently got Mark Horse, I think I might do an attempt on combining the two and build a really cool mountain as exhibit. Um, probably do something with the Lamagai as uh, there as well, uh, or bit of just whatever you call them. But yeah, that's going to happen in the future. And then on to all access D. Like, this this was some kind of experimentation gone wrong. But, I don't talk about that anymore. 
So some access deer which we got from Nara Zoo a, a long time ago. But yeah, I really like him. I don't know. I just have a love for deer. I just really like deer. They just look so neutral. They just look so basic. I guess that's why I love them. They're, they're not that special at all. And then we have this little fish tank of which this one will ever always be empty till I get something of a decent size. Um, probably something like a squid. I mean, I, I could have had a squid, but I just never went for it, honestly. I forgot I even had this tank. Oh well. And then we got the reef tank, which will all move out one day. There should be a shark in here, but I'm gonna bother. Probably, yeah, I'm probably just hiding or something. I mean, it's it's in there. I've seen it this morning. Oh, there's a pigeon. Oh well. Then we have the or two bears barrel over here. Oh, no, oh, sorry, Daryl. And then this is barrel. Um, barrel actually is from Arahua Avian Park, a zoo that's not all that long ago disbanded the UCC, and he joined all male bear Daryl the boom bear, and they became besties. So yeah. Um, this is something that I think I will let stay, but I did this because there were two Asiatic lions there for temporary rehab. Um, they've, they've gone now, but yeah, that's that's why that's a thing. Um, I mean, they still go there and do that night house, but I'm not sure if I will keep that. Might, um, of course, a temporary exhibit for Amida or Asian elephant juvenile, which is just adorable and very small for an elephant. Probably that's why she's a juvenile. She's just a dwarf elephant variation or something. I'll just get her covered. I mean, I know she's a juvenile, but she doesn't really grow, which kind of concerns me. But that, that's for later. Then we have those things. I seriously don't know why I even keep them anymore. I think they're kind of the face of what Vals has, like, and doesn't want to have, but... On the other hand, I really like you. I kind of like the Francois Langers. I don't know why, I mean, they have somewhat a nice condition to them, but that's not why, I don't know, I think those look too basic in comparison to those. I think they just look basic, yeah. That's probably why I just don't like them. Uh, yeah. Oh, what else do I got here? Oh, I got nothing because that's a dead end. That's a dead end. And then we have this gift shop. Which has nobody behind the counter and somebody is going to pay $78 to me, so... I guess I can, have, I can write that on my paycheck, but... Oh well. So yeah, that's the short video of the voice thing. So hope you all enjoyed and see you later.